All right, guys, thanks for checking out today's video. Today, we're diving in talking about towing with a half ton truck. So I use this Ram 1500 to pull my 29 foot and a half. So let's just say 30 foot travel trailer and it does okay, but we're gonna dive in talking about some of the things that you need to look for if you plan on towing with a half ton truck because it's not all rainbows and sunshine, I'll tell you that right now. So if you're looking to tow with a half ton truck, know what you're gonna be able to tow and what you're not gonna be able to tow. So, so let's dive into this. All right, so when it comes to towing with a half ton truck, like this Ram 1500, maybe you got an F-150, maybe you got a Silverado 1500, whatever it is that is a half ton truck, you're gonna have to know what you're actually able to tow with your vehicle. So you're gonna have to look at your gross vehicle weight rating and stuff for your truck and your other tow ratings. All of those are gonna play a factor into how much you can actually tow with your half ton truck. So that's what you're gonna have to gauge off first. So like my Ram 1500 right here, it's the Ram Rebel. It's got the air suspension all the way around. So it is limited on what it can tow and it's around 7,500 pounds is what it can tow. So my travel trailer fully loaded. I'm talking if I'm going to a remote campsite where I'm having to fill up my water tanks and all that, only weighs around 6,000 pounds total. So I'm good to go as far as tow weight rating goes. And also the tongue weight on this trailer is only around 350, maybe 400 pounds, depending on how I have the load distributed in the trailer. <laughs> the hitch weight rating on this is well above that. So we're good to go as far as those weight ratings go. Those are things you're gonna have to keep in mind when you're purchasing one of these, because we're gonna go on another Camping World rant, but I'm telling you right now, you go down to Camping World and say, hey, I want this right here. They may sell it to you. <laughs> They may just sell it to you and expect you to pull that thing with your half ton truck. Now, I don't think they would, but you never know. It is camping world, but be realistic, guys. You know, I would say a good rule of thumb if you're planning on towing with your half ton truck is probably stay around 25 foot or less when we're talking about camper length. This one right here is a Coleman Lantern Light. So it weighs a little bit less than a normal 30 foot trailer would. So you're gonna have to look at that. If you do come across a 30 foot trailer that weighs a lot less than your gross vehicle weight rating, then go ahead and get it. But be realistic. And we're gonna talk about some of the aspects that make it realistic, but you're gonna have to keep some of those things in mind when we're going through this. Another one of the biggest things, possibly the biggest thing that a lot of people underestimate when they're towing with their half ton truck is fuel economy. That people are used to getting really good fuel mileage on their vehicles. You know, some half tons like the F-150 and stuff can get some really good gas mileage until you hook one of these bad boys up to it. So don't underestimate how much money you're gonna be spending on fuel. I know that was one of the biggest kickers when I first got this travel trailer is I was getting like 15 miles per gallon city with this thing. The first time I took out the travel trailer out here in New Mexico, I mean, the hills are like this. So, and you throw in a lot of wind and you, you throw in a recipe for disaster and a recipe to not have much fuel left in your tank. So that's exactly what happened. I was getting like maybe five, six miles per gallon for a lot of these trips. And that's just reality of it. And then now after I've learned how to kind of manipulate my shifts, and kind of help the shift points go in, uh, I can get roughly eight to 10 miles per gallon when I do that right. So you can learn how to get better gas mileage. That's just one of the things you're gonna have to play with and learn your vehicle if you plan on towing with a half ton truck. You know, there's a big debate out there whether you should get a diesel or just go ahead and pull it with your gas truck. Well, I'm telling you, I have a pretty good time in my gas truck and I'm pretty sure I save a lot of money over what I would with a diesel. We'll talk about where the diesel is going to shine here in a minute. But as far as fuel economy goes, eight to 10 miles per gallon in this thing, and it does okay. Okay. And uh, that's a 30 foot travel trailer. If I had something a lot smaller than that, it would probably get a lot better. And that's just the reality of it. Don't go, don't go into pulling with a half ton truck thinking you're going to get immaculate fuel mileage unless you're towing like a 15 foot travel trailer then it's probably not gonna affect you that much, but it's still going to. That's a lot of drag, that's a lot of force back here. 
that you're having to tow around and lug around with that truck. So just keep those things in mind. You're not gonna get the fuel mileage that you thought you could with one of these. All right, capabilities. When I say capabilities, I mean, what can your truck do as far as towing? And at what speed can it tow at? So if you're going down the interstate and you plan on keeping up with some of these tractor trailers, you plan on keeping up with some of these diesel trucks that are pulling, you know, another fifth wheel or something like that, you're probably not gonna be able to keep up with them. If you live somewhere like I do, where I'm constantly having to, you know, have my foot in the floorboard, press all the way down just to go up some of these hills, because that's just reality of it. You're not gonna be able to do it. With a diesel, where it just has so much torque and stuff like that, they're just gonna be able to go up like a breeze. They're probably gonna have cruise control on. That's another thing, half ton truck, if I want any type of fuel economy, I can't use cruise control on this thing because it is just horrible. Anytime I can be on flat ground and I usually never even get this thing up into eighth gear because it just doesn't have the power and the capabilities to keep it in eighth gear. Usually it's in sixth or seventh gear and uh, that's what I have to get up a hill in. Maybe even fifth gear going up a hill and that's even helping it out. But that's just something you're going to have to do. Manipulate your, your gas manipulate your gears to try to get the best fuel economy out there but don't have those expectations where you're going to be able to go up everything just like some of those diesel trucks do because you're just not going to be able to keep up with them that's just a reality of towing with a half ton so one thing i do suggest if you plan on towing with a half ton is most of them don't come with tow mirrors you're going to need to purchase yourself a set of tow mirrors that can pop up like this that way you can see around your trailer and see down the size of your trailer when you're towing. I'm telling you right now, when I first bought this thing, I didn't have these tow mirrors on it. And, you know, pulling this travel trailer was kind of a pain in the ass. I couldn't see around. I couldn't see to make lane changes until I bought these right here. Strongly suggest getting a set of these. It's going to make your life a breeze when it comes to towing your travel trailer. So if you don't have enough vehicle to pull your trailer, Things can go bad, such as safety stuff, right? So if you plan on pulling a trailer that weighs a lot more than your tow vehicle here, you're probably gonna be up the creek without a paddle because when the wind picks up, when you're going down steep grades, you're going up big hills and stuff, your truck is gonna struggle. It's gonna be pushing you around all over the place. That's where you're gonna need some type of load distribution hitch, sway bar the whole nine yards to keep that thing in check so you're not going to be running off the road you're not going to pose a safety concern to yourself and others while you're out there on the road so we're going to talk about low distribution hitches so that right there is going to take a lot of that tongue weight off so let's say we're hooked up and i didn't have a low distribution hitch i didn't have airbags or anything like that on my vehicle it's just as it is from the factory and we go ahead and place a lot of tongue weight on that hitch the whole back end of this truck is probably going to squat down and that is going to pose a safety concern because your front wheels are not going to have as much weight on them. It's going to make it hard to steer, especially going at a high rate of speed down the interstate and that wind picks up that's going to be moving all around. So you're going to have a lot of different issues going on. So definitely make sure that your trailer doesn't have too much tongue weight for your hitch here. And if it does get a, low distribution hitch most dealerships will sell you a low distribution hitch with your rig like they did for me when i bought this at camping world they'd show me how to set it up right but that's beside the point they will install it for you they will uh, kind of show you how to set it up but that's got to be taking that tongue weight off and level that trailer out and it's going to level the back end of your truck out that way you're not posing a safety concern so my truck actually has airbags on it. That's another thing you can install on your truck. Mine came with it, but you can't install it on uh, different aftermarket platforms. That right there is gonna save your vehicle by being able to level that thing out and tow a lot safer. Also, a lot of trucks that have leaf springs and stuff on them, you can do add a leaf, you can do, um, you can do helper springs. Those different things right there can help hold up the weight from the trailer. So those are just a few different things that you might want to look into if you're going to be towing with a half ton truck. All right, guys, that's just about all we have today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, place those in the comment box below. This was just 
kind of uh, scratching the surface on some of the stuff that you're gonna need to look for if you plan on towing with your half ton truck. The biggest thing I'm pretty sure in my opinion is just know what your capabilities are. Stay within those parameters. Don't buy too big of a trailer for what you can tow because it's gonna make your life miserable. You're not gonna be able to get a lot of good fuel economy. You're not gonna be able to get good fuel range. You're not gonna have a safe time on the road because that thing just weighs too much for your tow vehicle. And don't have expectations to where you're gonna be getting good fuel economy and have those expectations that you can pull anything up anything. It's just not the reality of it. So if you plan on towing with your half ton truck, just know there is some realities to it. And there are some things you're just not gonna be able to do. Like if you had a 25 or a 3500 truck, whether diesel or gas, it's just not the reality if you plan on towing with a half ton truck. All right guys, hopefully this gave you some insight and some expectations if you're planning on towing with your half ton truck. Right, guys, we'll catch you in future videos. Thanks for watching.